Miss Christine Farley. Please clap and make her feel welcome coming to the stage. Christine, you've made it to the second round. How does that feel? Feels pretty fantastic. I bet it does, because you all these challenges you have out here competing against you. It's just hectic for you, isn't it? Oh, it's so stressful. I can imagine. Now, Christine, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself before I allow you to do the piece that you're going to do for us? Uh, well, uh, I'm an actress, which is why I am in the actress category. Uh, today, I'm doing a, a monologue from uh, Chicago for uh, Roxy Hart, that part, uh, talking about why she's in jail for having killed Fred Casely. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, online viewers, be prepared. Without any further ado, welcome to Real Entertainers and Losers. Which one are you? I've always wanted to have my name in the papers. Before I met Amos, I used to date this ugly, well-to-do bootlegger. He used to take me out and show me off. Ugly guys like to do that. Well, I remember this one time, the paper said, Gangland Al Capelli seen at Shea Vito with cute Corrine. That was me. You know, I've always wanted to have my own act, but no, 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 no. It was always no one would big world of no. Then I met Amos. Safe, sweet Amos who never says no. I've never done this before. I, but, you know, this is such a special night, and you are such a great audience. I... I just really feel like I can talk to you, you know? So, forget about what you've read in the papers and forget what you have heard on the radio because I'm going to tell you the truth. Not that the truth really matters, but I'll tell you anyway. In the bed department, Amos was zero. I mean, when he would make love to me, it was like, like he was fixing a carburetor or something. He was like, uh -huh, I love you, honey, I love you. So I started, I started fooling around. Then I started screwing around, which is fooling around without dinner. Then I met Fred Casely, who said he could get me into vaudeville. Well, that obviously didn't work out quite like I planned. <laughs> Uh, but then again, I guess it didn't really work out too well for Fred either, since I shot him. But I forgot about that whole vaudeville idea. Because after all those years and all those no's, the opportunities just pass you by. But with this Flynn guy, if he can get me off with all this publicity, I've got me a world full of yes! Thank you. Christine Farley, ladies and gentlemen, please make a feel welcome. <laughs> 